Aha. Yeah, marker is being a little retarded. Just making me wonder where am I going? Yagami-san. Yagami-san, thank you for coming. Amasawa. Hey, Amasawa. What is it you want to um... ask me? Well, it's a rather long story. Is this a good time? Let's hear what she has to say. Once you start the side case, everything else will be put on hold until you're clear. Proceed? Yep, help on the Yeah. Side. Yeah, sure thing. After all, I am the MRC's outside counselor. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So, this is about my classmate. Actually, I should go get him now. Be right back. Yeah, that's good. Nice to meet you. I'm Hisi Yoshi Shimada, a second year. I'm Yagami, the MRC's advisor. Nice to meet you. Hey. So, what exactly do you need help with? Um... Well, Yagami-san, do you believe in things like curses? What was that? I'm sorry, what? Well... Just a preface. This case is going to sound either mysterious or ridiculous, depending on your answer. So... I know it's going to sound crazy, but please, you have to believe me. Just tell me what's going on first, then we'll see how it ranks with all the crazy things I've heard. Curse of the Amasawa Air Family Heirloom. Hmm. About the case request. Hey. Would you mind starting us off, Shimada-kun? So, uh, it's about this lucky cat I have at home. A lucky cat? You mean one of those statues of a cat waving its paw? Or like an actual cat? Yes. The former, yes. They're said to bring good fortune, so you can spot them in all sorts of businesses. There are quite a few kinds. Most of them are said to bring good luck. But black lucky cats are supposed to ward off bad luck in particular. Oh. Hmm, didn't know they got that specific. The thing is, my lucky cat doesn't do any of that. It doesn't bring money or good luck. It just attracts tragedies. Hmm? Tragedies? Here, this is it. Hmm. Looks pretty old. My dad bought it from an antique dealer friend of his. Usually they're really expensive, especially the pre-war ones like this. But my dad's friend warned him at the time, this cat brings more bad luck than good. Yeesh. So, why'd your dad bite the thing if it's supposed to be cursed? He collects all sorts of rarities, especially the stuff with interesting stories. He goes nuts for those. Hmm. Sounds like, uh, an interesting guy. But yeah, a lucky cat that brings more bad luck than good? I admit, that's an intriguing hook. And, you have me, son. The curse, or whatever it is, evidence is starting to pile up, making it seem real. Well... Ever since acquiring that statue, the Shimadas have been through one ordeal after another. What was that? Like what? Like some pretty scary stuff. My dad got a really high fever all of a sudden and was touch and go for a bit. Our house got on fire too. Wow, potential arson and serious illness? You weren't kidding, that's scary stuff. And my grades keep slipping ever since dad bought the thing. I never dropped below 10th place before this. Hmm. Hmm. Is that really the statue's fault, though? Well, you sure can't blame me for the ghost. One woke my... One woke my dad up in the middle of the night, standing right there next to his bed. Huh? A ghost did? He was dressed like an old-timey soldier and totally pale. Just stood there like he was at attention. But he kept moaning. Give me back my cat. My dad thought he was dreaming, so he rolled over and went back to sleep. Does that mean... So, was it just a dream? Yeah. I don't know, but the next day, that's when he started feeling awful. It's like he'd been cursed or something. I see. I see. Well, that would be unsettling, even, it was, even if it was just a string of coincidences. My dad's still not out of the woods now that he's healthy, either. He almost got run over by a car a couple days ago. It's still going on? This isn't really sounding like coincidence anymore. Don't know what it could be. At this point, it's probably safe to consider further misfortune inevitable. That may help us determine the cause before any irreversible damage is done. I'm telling you, it's the cat. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think so. Why even keep Excuse it? me. Here's a question. If you're all so creeped out by it, why don't you just throw it out? <sighs> it's my dad. He refuses to get rid of it. He says the previous owner was this famous author who met his demise because of the statue. What? So the statue was cursed even back then? Yeah, my dad said the guy died when he hit his head on it. Are you serious? Oof, that is quite the story. 
Apparently, his whole fan base is obsessed with the statue. That's why it's considered really valuable, despite the curse. Uh. Who's the author, by the way? Well, uh. Kitan Amasawa. He was a mystery novelist, my grandfather. Huh? What? Your grandfather? Oh, and you said hitting his head on the statue. Oh. So, this was the actual cat that, you know. Yes. Well, only if this is truly the exact same statue my grandfather owned. Hmm? So you don't know if this is actually the same one? Well... Well, my grandfather has been missing ever since he passed away. About seven years now. Shortly after he died, my grandmother pawned it off. She always thought it was rather creepy. I see. I see. Can you tell from this picture if it's the same one as your grandfather's? Hmm. Hmm. It's hard to tell from just a photo. This was also seven years ago. I see. But I do remember that the cat was cursed even back then. <sighs> my grandfather was somewhat of a rarities collector himself. Of course he jumped at the chance of owning a one-of-a-kind unlucky cat. Kita Namasawa was famous for somewhat bizarre tales of mystery. I could definitely imagine him wanting a statue like this. My grandfather was quite taken with it. He bragged about it quite a bit when I was little. I'm sure he never imagined his life ending because of his unlucky cat. But she says supposedly. A lucky cat took the life of Amasawa's grandfather seven years ago, and now it's back, wrecking havoc for another family. Yagmi-san, I'm not one to believe in the supernatural. All mysteries must be approached rationally, no matter how unusually they present themselves. That's why I firmly believe. Because logic is always found at the true core of any mystery. Right. That being said... But, that's also why my grandfather's unexplained death has struck with me for the past seven years. Stuck with me for the past seven years. Hmm. I assume the police ruled it was accidental, right? If that's the case, it kind of sounds pretty explained. No, actually. On the night my grandfather passed away, I also experienced a strange event. One that has no rational explanation could only be considered a supernatural phenomenon. What? Really? What happened? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to explain it. Let's just focus on finding out if this is actually the same cat or not first. Gotcha. Sure, we can do that. Rare for Amasawa to not have the words. But this could be the actual statue that took her grandfather's life. I can see why it'd be so tough to talk about it. Yakmi-san, I am getting to the bottom of this case, one way or another. If something's causing all the tragedies around this cat, there's a good chance more will occur. I don't want anything as awful as what happened to my grandfather to happen to anyone in the Shimada family. Makes sense to me. After all, you're all about preventing incidents before they take place. Yes. Right. And not only that. This case is personal. I'm so... Yagami-san! So, uh, Yagami-san, would you please help me get to the yeah. bottom of this? Yeah, of course. The MRC advisors got your back. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Well, let's start with the investigation. First things first, I'd like to see the statue in person. Yes. Good idea. Shimada kun. Do you think your father would mind showing it to us? So. Oh yeah. How about you'd be over the moon? To have one of Kitan Amasawa's descendants confirm his statue is the real deal. I'll give him a call now. Hmm. He says yeah. He'd love to meet you guys. In fact, good to hear. Well, where should we meet him? I asked him to meet us at a cafe near the station. Plage. It'll be faster than getting him signed in at the school's reception and everything. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. I would have felt bad asking him to come all the way here anyway. Well, I'll make my way to the cafe now. Let's meet out front. Yagami-san. See you soon, Yagami-san. Hmm. Interesting. So we're doing a case that's about a cat statue that is unlucky. I'm coming with that... you. Oh, she's falling. That explains why everything's canceled. Until uh, this side case is finished. But yeah, that's definitely interesting. Especially how lucky those are supposed to be, and also how it's very personal to Amasawa. Yagami-san, 
Would you say that you tail people often? I mean, it's a big part of the job. Do you have any tips for avoiding the target's suspicion? I tend to get made fairly quickly when tailing. What's an average high schooler tailing people for anyway? I just... Ah, uh, let's mark where the cafe is. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's check venues. This will be a restaurant. Ah, there. Can't help myself when I pick up a lead. Kind of dangerous when you don't know your target, don't you think? But in the end, isn't it worth it if I can prevent an incident? No, not if it's something that puts your own life at risk. I somehow hadn't considered that. I'm coming with you! She somehow didn't consider that. Well, at least she likes to get into it. That's good. Because sometimes you have to, otherwise... Otherwise the cases will, uh... Go unsolved or unresolved. Might as well take these guys down really quick. <laughs> A say uncle. That's awesome. And he wants to fight. Perfect. And stay down. Got some components from him. That's whatever. I don't really use them. I don't really use the tiger style either. Because I think the snake style is still anyway, just I had no idea superior. you had such a famous grandfather. Are you surprised? No. If anything, it's obvious that you're his granddaughter. Well, now I'm feeling the pressure. As a descendant of Kitan Amasawa, you should become the kind of detective that make him proud. For that to be possible, I need to take on as many cases as possible to hone my instincts. But what if you blundered into a case and ended up making a fool of yourself? Would that make Grandpa proud? Uh, the more I hold back, though, the more curious I get. Once I've caught a whiff of a mystery, the Amasawa blood in me starts pumping. It's quite a burden you wound up inheriting. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. Definitely something to live up to. Also, like an uh, unspoken expectations. Oh, oh Yagami-san, Amasawa-senpai. Ah, you're Kita and Amasawa Sensei's grandchild, right? It's a pleasure. Yes, nice to meet you. I'm Kyoko Amasawa. Domo. Shimada. Mikio Shimada. My sons told me about you. Thank you for being such good senpai to him. I must say, I'm surprised seeing you for the first time. You definitely have Amasawa blood in you. <laughs> you're like a heroine ripped straight from one of his novels. I can already tell you're not just a nice face. You're smart as a whip too, aren't you? Huh? Oh, really? Ah! Come on, Dad, cut it out. Oh, my apologies. And, uh, who is this with you? Yagami. I'm Takeyuki Yagami, outside counselor for the Mystery Research Club, primarily Detective Mkamurocho. Oh, ho, a genuine detective. This is just getting better. <laughs> the seasoned private eye trawling the seedy underbelly of the city with this wonder kind teen sidekick. Man, I already'd want to buy the whole series. <sighs> I'm really sorry about my dad. Let's head inside, huh? Hey, at least he's taking a general interest. So, for the mystery at hand, may we see the unlucky cat statue? Here. Yeah. Yes, of course, here. Hmm. So, this is it? I brought it to a taping of that TV appraisal show a few days ago. I couldn't determine whether or not it belonged to Kitan Amasawa, though. But, if it turns out to be the real deal, it's supposed to be worth 2 million yen. Huh? What? 2 million yen? Yeah. I mean, considering his legacy, it's basically the holy grail to his fan base. <sighs> but still, 2 million? Amasawa. Do you think you could tell if it's actually your grandfather's Amasawa? Please, feel free to inspect it. In that case, allow me. Uh, huh. Come on. The steep red stick. No way. Is is that from when your grandfather? Uh, no, it's it's from when I splashed ketchup on it. Well, it's a little what? Ketchup. Yeah, I've been eating a hot dog in his study and got ketchup all over the room. 
Well, eating may not be accurate, more like swinging around like a sword. I was really into this historical drama at the time. My grandfather and I watched it together. Nah. Sounds like you're quite a little hellion, this kid. That being said... But this stain, I don't know if anything else can make it clearer to me that this is my grandfather's statue. Woohoo, I knew it. Yeah. We can get millions for this? Seriously? Wow, talk about the score of a lifetime. Excuse me. Sorry, if this question comes across a bit strange, sir, but I, might, but I must ask. Does this statue ever make noise? Maybe? Like a meow? Huh? Does my cat statue meow? What makes you ask? Well... Well, the thing is, on the night my grandfather died seven years ago, I heard it. This cat meowed at me. <laughs> Are you serious? Amasawa, is this the supernatural phenomenon you referred to before? Yes. Hey. Yes. Could you give us some more details? Sorry, I know this must be hard. No, I understand. We have to do it for the case. This is the first time I've seen Amasawa like this. Hmm. Let's talk about... The incident. Amasawa. You said your grandfather's death was ruled as an accident. Was there even a slight chance that it was actually a crime? Yes. The police came and checked the scene, but they said they couldn't find anything suspicious. Besides, it happened in a locked room. Not only was the door to the study inaccessible, but the crescent locks on all the windows were still secure. A locked room death and a cursed statue. This is sounding more and more like one of Kita and Amasawa's books. And what's a crescent lock? They're the most common kind of window lock in homes for a reason. They get the job done. I doubt the windows were a point of entry for anyone that night. Oh, okay. Since police didn't see any signs of a break-in or even a struggle, they really had no recourse but to rule the death was the eh, but to rule the death an accident. So it's doubtful this was a burglary gone wrong. Afterwards, the unlucky cat creeped out the whole family enough that my grandmother pawned it off. Not surprisingly, the family lost track of the statue after that, so I never expected to see it again like this. Okay. Let's ask Sawa. So you're saying you definitely heard the meow of a cat on the night your grandfather died? Yes. Yes, I have no doubt. I believe it was around 1.30 in the morning. I woke up in the middle of the night to get a glass of water and passed by my grandfather's study. That was when I heard a meowing sound come from the room. Did your grandparents have a pet cat? Or maybe it was a stray outside the window? No. No, they didn't have any cats. I definitely would have known if a stray had gotten in. With Rampo in the yard, no cats would could have gotten by without him barking up a storm. And I distinctly remember the sound being loud enough to come from the room, not from outside the house. Seriously? Creepy. Well... What's even creepier is I can remember my grandfather telling me more than once. When that cat cries, misfortune, misfortune comes calling. What was that? What? I was given strict orders to never even approach the study if I ever heard a cat meowing in there. That's why, once I heard that cat, I ran back to my room and hid, terrified. And the next day, my grandfather was... That must have been so hard. If I'd just been brave enough to go in the room instead of running, I could have... Maybe I could have prevented my grandfather from dying. Hey. Seven years ago, you were only about 11, right? Don't blame yourself for being scared. A truly artful detective can solve his incidents before they even occur. I wonder if her grandfather's own incident has anything to do with Amasawa taking that saying so seriously. It just might. Shimada-san, thank you for going out of your way to help us today. Oh no, it's my pleasure. Did you find any clues? Maybe even a lead now? Hmm. Mm, unfortunately, I'm not so sure. Hmm? <laughs> what was that? Look out. Okay, I'm so sorry. I guess I was, it wasn't secured all the way. It can't be. What was that? The unlucky cat? Unbelievable. No way. Dad, please. What's it going to take for you to get rid of the statue? <laughs> Even I'm starting to get freaked out by this. Well, we should get home. Thanks again for today. Excuse me. Actually, sir. 
Yes. Please and thank you. Would you mind leaving the statue with us for a while? <laughs> what? Leave it with you? Yes. Yes, until we can debunk the curse. But aren't you worried? This curse is starting to look pretty real deal to me. My grandfather once said, curses only blight their believers. Did he now? Yes, he also said, you must never succumb to the marvel of mystery. You must keep your wits about you. Despite my age, he imparted his philosophy of mystery solving to me before his death, and I hold the truths he shared with me in the highest regard. As Kitan Amasawa's grandchild, I kind of back down to these strange events and turn away from the genuine mystery. I refuse to believe in this curse, therefore it will have no effect on my pursuit of the truth. But still. Not only that, this is a mystery that needs solving by an Amasawa. Oh? Amasawa-san. When I heard that meow seven years ago, I ran from the truth, and the result was absolutely horrible. I'll never make the same mistake again. Okay, if that's the case, I'll leave it with you. Please find a way to break the curse before something bad happens again. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Excuse me. By the way, I heard that you bought the statue from a friend who runs a second-hand shop. Which one would that be? Ibisu Pond in Ejincho. Ibisu Pond, got it. I'll go speak with him now. Thanks again. Amasawa is really into this case. Guess you shouldn't be surprised considering, well, I should step up my advising efforts for her on this one. Hmm. Okay. Now, where is Ibisu Pond? There it is. Used to it being in the, uh, Southern area in Kamurocha, so it's kind of weird being in the northern in Ejincho. Well, sorry, I didn't want to get hit by a vehicle. Lose health. Because of course a car's not going to hit her. Nor would it damage her health. Only mine. Alright, should be coming up on Ibisu Pond. Nice. Slipped in behind him. Excuse me. Hello, is this a bad time? I'm from the Yagami Detective Agency, Takeyuki Yagami. We'd like to ask you a few oh. questions. Oh, what detective? It's a pleasure. I'm his assistant, Kyoko Amasawa. Your assistant? A high school? <sighs> is there a problem? Yeah. No, not particularly. Uh, what is it you wanted to ask? We're looking into this lucky cat statue for Mikio Shimada-san. He says he knows you? Ah, this is for Shimada-san. Would you mind if I ask, how did you first come to acquire the statue? This pawnbroker friend of mine closed up his shop, so I bought his remaining inventory. Couldn't vouch for the statue's authenticity, though. Well, we know it's the real thing now, but maybe we oughtn't to fill him in on that. Might make a mess of things. You don't happen to know who sold the cat to your friend originally, do you? Nah, sorry. He told me he'd been passed around a bunch before and ended up in his shop. But he didn't know any specifics. Probably why he couldn't authenticate the thing. I see. Thanks anyway. Oh, one last question. This might sound odd, but when you still had the statue in the shop, did anything strange ever happen here? Eh? Strange? Ha, huh, you mean the curse. Nah, I don't buy into that stuff. Nothing ever happened here to make me change my mind, either. Hmm. Nothing at all? You're sure? Nope. The guy I got the statue from never mentioned any of the sort, although I suppose he might have just wanted to sound crazy. Yagami-san. Oh, I see. Yagami-san, does this mean the so-called curse didn't begin until Shimada-kun's father acquired the statue? Yeah. Yeah, sounds like it anyway. Hmm? Hmm? What's... smoke? Yagami-san! Yagami-san, it's on fire. Are you serious? Huh? Really? Ah, ah, get the fire extinguisher. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, we got the fire out right away, but we seriously have no idea where it came from. Just whoosh, out of nowhere. Ooh, 
I'm glad that didn't get any worse. That can't be. Yagmi san, what do you think started that fire? Hmm. Hmm? I have to say, da da da. Whoops, I had not skip that. Hang on, do you smell something? Gasoline? Gas. That would mean there's a chance that the fire earlier was actually yes. arson. Agreed. Yagmi san, what do you say we search the scene really quick before the police yeah. get here? Yeah, let's check and observe for any traces in the area. Keep sharp for anything like gasoline trails or containers. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, where's the fire then? Hmm. Something was dripping. If I were to guess, that waitress gasoline based on the color and smell. Yeah, yeah, it goes all the way to the alley. Let's see if we can track it. Suspicious. Ah, a plastic bottle. Inside, more gasoline. Smell. Which means. Does this mean? Yeah. Yep, the fire at the pawn shop was actually arson. But who's the culprit? And why? No idea. But let's fill in the police and the guy at the shop and what we found first. Excuse me. Yagami san, how should we proceed with the investigation from here? Well, now that we know the fire at the pawn shop was intentionally set, what I'd love to do is pin down our little fire what? bug. Pin them down? How? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I don't know anything about them, but they're obviously after the statue. Maybe we can just lure them, lure them out somehow. Mm -hmm. Solid enough idea. Where should we start? Hmm. I suppose just meandering around town ought to do it, considering how quickly the pawn shop was hit. I can't imagine it taking long. Mm -hmm. I see. Some genuine hard-boiled legwork, eh? A lot riskier than my usual investigations. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely going to be more dangerous than I like. That's why you ought to head back to... I think not. Please allow me to continue on the case. Nah. I'm a sour. This Please is... Please and thank you. I need to solve this myself, Yagmi-san. Please. Gotcha. <sighs> okay, but you really have to be careful and keep your distance when we're in public. Got it? I'm basically a walking tragedy magnet. Carrying around the thing. Yes. Yes, I promise. I'll be safe. So, where should we head first? Preferably somewhere that makes it easy to watch our backs while we kill time. How about we play darts? What? You want to play darts? Why? Only one person has to take their eye off their surroundings at a time. And, if someone does come after us, you can always counter with some darts to the face. Nah. Okay, I have to give you points for the overall plan, but darts to the face? Make no mistake, I'm actually quite good at the game. My aim's solid enough to be able to hit a human head. Nope. So, I think it'd be best if I handle any incoming threats, and if you just don't say that kind of thing to someone, maybe? Right. Well, uh, after you? Well, we're not out here to play games, but this case has also been a pretty big weight on Amasawa. Maybe you do her some good to blow off some steam. Okay, so where are we going to play darts? Oh, went right there. Awesome. Sure, let's play for a bit. Keep your eyes peeled for any suspicious individuals along the way, especially if they're approaching you. I'll be careful. At least this is a small place. We'll definitely see anyone coming for our, for us here. Okay. Simple dark controls. Let's do a little bit. Alright, win or lose? Let's do this, Whatever. Yagi -san. I'm not gonna hold back. Okay, so. Best if I can triple the 20. <sighs> ah.
Let's see what she gets. Some triple twenties. That beat her bullseyes for sure. <laughs> Dang it! All right, if I can at least get one bullseye, then oh, of course. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can... Yeah, we're not gonna keep the lead. She just has to get a 20 at least. Not doing so hot. Actually, I could win this. Yeah, if I do two triple twenties. Yep. Nope. That's not gonna happen. Dang it. Can I get one triple twenty at least? Lots of winning yeah. fall. <sighs> Lame. Victory is mine. Son of a. <laughs> he doesn't sound pleased about it. It's whatever. I'm sure it doesn't matter who wins. I lost. <laughs> Don't give up your day job, Yagami son. Glad to see someone's pleased with how that went. I'm a Sawa. So, did you see anyone suspicious yet? <laughs> oh, I, uh, I kinda got too into the game and forgot to look around. Oh, come on, you seriously weren't looking? I guess I sort of got into the zone there too, though. Looks like darts didn't make for the best cover activity. We should shift gears. What would work better for us? <laughs> Mm, good idea. Work we watch out for potential assailants. How about the batting center? What? If I were right to there. guess... We'll still be able to see anyone approaching us. In fact, this could be even better than darts. If one person does all the batting, the other can observe our surroundings without losing concentration on the game. Ah, very true. And even better, the bat makes for a much more effective defensive weapon than darts. I see. I see. Well, I'll handle the defense part for us, but let's get over there before something bad can happen to us here. Now we're just fast Speaking traveling. of burdens, nope. have you been studying for your exams? That is something I try not to think of. Alright, where are the bad cages? Ah, over there. Too much. Obsessing over rote memorization would affect my reasoning skills. Well, I reason that you shouldn't let your club activities get in the way of your studies. I admit that's also something I try not to think about. That doesn't sound <laughs> like the Amasawa I know. Gotta face the facts sometime. No, stop it! Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, very good point. Grades are important. Can't put too much into the club activity. Keep going. 